you actually communicate and can talk and hear him, or not? You can hear him, but not in the sense that you're probably thinking. No. It's, um, you, you hear in the sense of there's this, the, the feelings enter you from God directly, and then wor words appear within you associated with those feelings. And in fact, that's how you communicate with every soul in the, in the seventh, uh, eighth sphere and above. So you, you, the forms of communication used there are totally different to the forms of communication we use. Yeah. They're all based on this emotional to emotion, emotion to emotion transaction. And because my emotions are pure and your emotions are pure, it means that I can feel your emotions and accurately know what they are. It's only when my emotions have filters that I'm feeling your emotions and think they're something different. Yeah. So everything that happens on the eighth sphere and above is all emotion into emotional transaction. You discussed it as you were at one, you learn God's truth more and more and you come to know greater knowledge. Mm -hmm. But is that still interpreting the feelings versus a verbal discussion where you were hearing words and, and listening and absorbing that knowledge? So how do you actually gain that knowledge directly from God if it's just a feeling or is it your interpreting of that feeling to become knowledge? Yeah, in the Paget messages, I, um, the Apostle John wrote a section of on truth and how it's discovered. And in that section, um, it's worth reading, it's a, it's, he, he explained how I determined truth in my life and what I actually did to find out truth. And it's a very accurate reflection of what I did. But it's about feeling the feelings that you get from God and then putting them into practice to see whether they work. And obviously if they don't work, then you've got the, inter your interpretation of the feeling has been incorrect. Right? If they do work, then obviously you've now added another truth to your soul that you can then build on for the next for the next truth that it, it comes to you and that's why above the eighth sphere even though you're at one with God there's still like this huge area where you're learning more and more and more and more truth before you can actually be at one with your soulmate right which is in the 22nd sphere because there is so much truth to actually learn even after you've become at one with God and truth is something that will be infinite so therefore truth is never you're never going to be able to say you know the truth like God knows the truth. All we can do is approach that. Yeah. Do you personally feel the emotions of um, somebody you are directly communicating with? Yeah, I feel, I feel the emotions of... Uh, well, yeah, at the moment I feel... The, <laughs> I suppose it's going to be hard to believe, but I can feel the emotions of, of whole groups of pe people, people on the earth in, in, here, in the room, all of your different emotions that you're projecting at me. At times, I, you know, if I allow myself, I can feel what they are, mm -hmm. and and so you, you you come to appreciate after a while that every single interaction with each other is emotional, actually. Mm -hmm. right? And I can feel all of your emotions. Those of you who are doubting, I can feel your doubts, and those of you who are afraid about dealing with your emotions, I can feel that. Mm -hmm. And those of you who want to deal with your emotions but feel that it's going to be too much for you, I can feel that. And so there's, you, could, you could basically say that there's this wall of emotion coming from you. <coughs> and if there's anything resonant inside of myself, in other words, if there's anything I've yet to deal with inside of myself, and there is, those emotions will resonate with me in certain ways. When you're at one with God, they no longer resonate with you. So you feel them and they pass straight through you without you actually feeling any pain from them. Right? No matter what the painful emotion is being projected. But at the moment, that's not where I'm at. At the moment, I've got every, every time I've stood up so far, like since I've been back home, I've still got I've, my biggest thing is the unworthiness at the moment. And so every time I get up to speak, I get this back pain, lower back pain that's second chakra, all to do with unworthiness. And so, you know, that, that's what I'm feeling. And when you, when you feel your doubts, it's not when you express the words, but when you feel your doubts about what I'm saying, I can feel that. And, and after a while, you'll be more and more sensitive and you'll be able to feel it from everyone around you. So it's a, you've got to be brave in a lot of ways because sometimes a lot of the emotions that you're going to feel are going to be quite negative in terms of your experience. But they're only negative because they resonate with something inside of you.